Hi, this is the help video for Access Chapter 12, the training assignment. It is um, the fourth movie, and we're beginning at step 18 in our um, learning and exploring of creating macros. In the last macro, we made a macro group that is um, accessed through key combinations because you can't you can't um, you can't run the macro uh, because they're they're sub to this so you don't see them to run it so the way that you would run that would be through key combinations um, or something else would run it for you a button or whatever um, okay so we're going to create a new macro and let's look at what this one's going to do. This macro will run each time the database is opened. Okay. It minimizes the navigation pane, opens the invoice form in a new record, and sets the focus on the invoice date field. Okay, so focus means really what field is your cursor in when that um, form is uh, opened and ready for the user. It's the object that is in focus or selected, if you want to think of it that way. So our cursor should be inside the invoice date field when we're all done with this. So we're going to create a new macro in, in, um, uh, and begin that with our comment, right? So we're going to click that, comments, that first one there. And we're going to type this macro. So this macro will run each time the database is open. It minimizes the navigation pane, comma, opens the invoice form in a new record. Okay, that's important. So we're going to be not in an edit of existing, but we're going to open up in it so someone can put in a new record. And we're going to set and set the focus on the invoice date field. So that's where the new record's going to be placed. Okay, so that's our comment. All right, we're good. So now we're going to select object action. Okay, Add the select object, right? So here, select object. What are we going to select? Well, form. We want to, because we're opening this form, right? So we're going to do form. And the name is form customer. I'm going to pick it over here. There's too many things that begin with that. So form Okay, I'm going to type it in. Form customer invoices and yes. So we want to select the object that's a form. It's called form customer invoices and we want it to be in the window. Okay, so then we want to minimize window. So let's put this next one in. So we're going to do minimize window. And that's it. So I want to save this. So what is this going to be saved? Um, auto exec. So we're going to save this. It's going to be an auto exec because it's going to run when we go into the database. So this naming it auto exec um, causes this macro to be run when the database is um, opened. So I'm going to actually put that and I'm going to close this for a second. And then I'm going to come back in. And let's see what happens. All right, you didn't really see it, did you? So let me do it again. So normally we would have this open, right? So watch. 
it minimize that. So let's go ahead and um, modify this auto exec. So we're going to go back into design view. Okay. So this is just selecting the form and, and then um, saying yes to the database window. So the, and then it's minimizing it. So we're closing it up. Okay. Let me minimize that. And we're going to come back here. All right, so add the open form action to the menu. So we're going to come here. That's a new action. I'm going to type open form. It's going to bring up all of the things I need to fill in. So it's form customer invoices. So I'm going to come over here and pick it. So we're saying open the customer invoices form in form view, right? Form view. We want to do um, the data mode is going to be edit and normal. So we're opening the form for edit. So um, changes can be made to it, right? So now what we're going to do, so all this does is open it, right? So the next thing that we have to do is we have to go to a record. In this case, we want to go to the new record. So the action that we want is go to record. Because remember, we're, we have this open. So now the object type is um, a form. And it's this customer. Because once again, we could have multiple things open. We can't just say go to record if we have, I mean, because you could have multiple um, things open. So I always wanted to say which which thing we're talking about. Um, and the record is not the next, it's not the first, it's not the last, it's a new record, right? So if you think about at the bottom, there's buttons, you know, you can go first, you could go previous, you could go next, you could go last, you could go new. So we're saying go to the record in this form a new record. So that's going to take me to that blank, right, to add something. The next thing that I need to do is to set the control, or remember we called it focus, so we're going to go to control, and then what's the name? And this is the name of the field that you want to set the focus on. So we want it to be an invoice date, right? So all this is doing is like you're clicking in the invoice date. That's what this is doing. It's focusing in on that field. So we're going to save this as auto exec. So if you haven't saved it yet, do a, a save and call it auto exec. And I'm going to um, close out of this, close out of this. I'm going to open it back up and let's test it. Perfect. So it minimized my navigation pane and I could also just take that away if you wanted to. It opened up form invoice. Let me go back over here so we can review it. It opened up form invoice, right? Form customer invoices and it opened it up in a new record and look at where my cursor is. It's in an invoice date, right? That's where I was placed. So that totally worked. All right, I am going to stop this. And we'll pick up with step 23 on our next meeting. Thank you.